We live in a data-rich world. From presidential polling results to really knowing how a business is doing, there is a need to not only understand the meaning behind the numbers, but to think critically about them. This ability to interpret numbers, make judgments from data, and make arguments based on numerical evidence are skills that are needed in all manner of disciplines, not just math. This ability, sometimes called numeracy or quantitative literacy, is a skill that must be specifically addressed in curriculum so that today's students are comfortable working with, understanding, and making arguments based on numbers. Quantitative literacy is much more than just knowing how to make computations. The emphasis is on solving real-world problems by using numerical information. It includes comfort and skill in interpreting data, recognizing when numerical manipulation is useful, being competent to make computations when needed, using numbers to solve problems, and the ability to present numerical information to others. In most math and statistics courses, this learning objective would be essential or important, but it may also be a critical objective for other courses, such as sociology or business, where working with data is a vital learning objective. If you choose this objective, there should be specific activities designed to help students develop these skills rather than just requiring that they use numbers. So even though you may not be teaching mathematical or statistical computation in the course, you may provide opportunity for students to collect and critically analyze or interpret data while receiving feedback on their ability to do so. You may also incorporate learning experiences where students are required to present numerical information to make arguments. The ability to not only understand, but then interpret and make arguments for a position based on numerical information is a critical part of the skill. So in a business class, for instance, students could be assigned the task of using real-world data from a public corporation to make an argument for a particular expansion of or a change in the business. Or sociology students could use population data to project trends in public education or services. It's this kind of skill that is at the core of quantitative literacy. You can find more ideas for this learning objective on our website by exploring the teaching methods that have been shown to help students achieve it.